Kia ora everyone, no mai hata mai, hello and welcome. Tamaki Makoto, Auckland on the North Shore, the home of the BNZ Northern Kahu tonight, taking on the Pro Build ITM Mainland Puakai. Tapai has got the job on her right now. Mackenzie Forbes now on the drive. Nice finish at the hoop. Here's Tapia. Looking to open up her scoring tonight on the drive. Down it goes. Well, that's top for Michaela Khan. Back to the Australian point guard. A lot of 3x3 experience. Sends it out to Forbes for three. Well, that's a lackluster defensive effort there. Nobody chased Forbes off that screen. No switch, no communication. Sends it back. Deep three. Sean Rabadi. Rabadi with the triple. But they couldn't get it to her. Vinell was tracking her to Paya. A beautiful flare screen there by Steph there. So here is to Paya firing away for three. That's how you respond. Second three of the ball game for her after getting the second personal foul on Ezra McGoldrick on the offensive end. And the margin out to seven. Pawakai just cannot land a blow right now. Right now, around traffic off the glass. That's good to go. Tapia, busy, and drains another two. And determined to score right now. Creates that space so well. Been a tough matchup with Tapia. Speaking of which, here she is on the step back three. Oh, she's fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Talia Tapia. And be careful when you poke the bear because you just might wake it up. That is a bear you do not want to poke. <laughs> this is one that is well agitated right now. 15 points at the half. McGoldrick answers with a triple. Huge shot there. Solid offense. And the rotation down to the post. Rabadi. They just look stagnant, don't they? Not working right now for the Puakai. Shot clock at five. Again. They've got to do something late. Somehow it ends up in the hands of Rynell. Loose ball. Picked up Davidson. And that'll do us at the half. So second quarter belonging to the Kahu tonight. They're out by eight. And definitely off the hand of Talia Tapia. 17 points in the opening half for the star Kiwi. Thomas back into her hands. Forster. Has Thomas outside, goes it alone on the step through. Oh, well done with the footwork. Oh! Kahan gets the offensive foul call because Chloe Forrester has been setting her up for that for a while oh. now. Well, here's the basket. Setting her up for it. Michaela Khan does not like it, has something to say to Forrester. Michaela Khan doubled up high, sends it off for a body with some space. They need this and they get it. The body's uh, on that short list of players who have improved quite a bit this season as well. Nice to see her expanding the game out beyond the, the three-point line. They are hanging in by a thread. Bairstow on the drive to Pyre from range. Well, she's got no range. She can <laughs> shoot it from the car park. I like that two-woman game there, the kick to Bairstow, who on the dribble penetration draws the defense off of Tapia, who makes them pay for doing so. What's that, her fourth triple tonight? Look at Forster again at midcourt. <laughs> She's wrapped that up. Somehow got that cleanly, forces the jump ball. It will stay with the polar guy. Take another look at this one. Bear still right into the defense of her body, forcing her to help a little bit. Makes that help just a tad bit late. This margin is now pushed out to 17. Rabadi on the turnaround and off the glass, banks it in. Well, good effort by the Kahu to make that a difficult possession, but better execution that time. Nice deep catch, good finish in the post. Oh, look out. Look out. That's Talia Tapoya. That is a pure finish, up to 27 points now. That's about round 17 between those two. Only 17. <laughs> Thomas. Underneath, somehow got a shot up. Back down. How often does Amari Thomas, if she misses shot number one, how often does she get a second look? She's Just seems to second chance opportunities all the time. Sends it down low to Panina Davidson. Just banging bodies. Well, just a good patience shown. 
Crystal Ledger Walker always makes that turnaround look so easy. Well, sometimes the DJ starts the party a little bit too soon, but Crystal Ledger Walker is just snapping up those passing lanes. Hands it back, Amari Thomas. Crowd gets up and going. Cash it in, Amari Thomas up to 20 on that one. And I haven't seen her in person yet, but McSpadden. Yeah. Uh, well, what she's been able to do rebounding wise is we see another triple from Amari Thomas. Back to back for her. To buy her. Again. What is she doing back in the ball game? You're up 25. Oh, and she's hit the floor again. Takes the charge. But uh, Mackenzie Forbes didn't mind getting that one. <laughs> Nothing like being the first. Chance in the corner for three. Lily Rotuno. Makes it. Makes it look easy on that catch and release. That doesn't get up in time. And that'll do us. A 26-point margin in the end. Kahu get the victory. And really, after a tight opening quarter, it was the home team that owned the contest. Well, this was the Kahu team we expected to come out when they was fired up and determined to get a victory after getting that first loss of the season. And I think we learned one thing. This is one group that you do not want to make angry.